Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2018, Paper 1, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. Let A vector and B vector be two unit vectors such that A vector dot B vector equal to 0. That means they are perpendicular. For some x, y belonging to real, let C vector be xA vector plus yB vector plus A vector cross B vector. If magnitude of C vector is 2 and the vector C vector is inclined at the same angle alpha to both a vector and b vector then the value of 8 cos square alpha is. Now let's first solve it in a very quick way. You may assume a vector to be i cap, b vector to be j cap, a vector dot b vector is indeed 0 and they are indeed unit vectors and hence a vector cross b vector will turn out to be k cap. So based on that you may say c vector is essentially x i cap plus y j cap plus k cap. Now magnitude of c vector is 2. That means magnitude of c vector k square is 4. That means x square plus y square plus 1 square which is 1 is 4. Now c vector has angle alpha with a vector that means with i cap. That means c vector dot i cap which if you see carefully would be x only would be equal to magnitude of c vector which is 2 magnitude of i cap which is 1 times cos alpha so basically it becomes 2 cos alpha similarly c vector dot j cap would be magnitude of c vector which is 2 magnitude of j cap which is 1 cos alpha which again if you see carefully would be y now we know x square plus y square plus 1 equal to 4 so that means x being 2 cos alpha and in fact y also being 2 cos alpha so 2 cos alpha whole square plus 2 cos alpha whole square plus 1 equal to 4 you get 8 cos square alpha equal to 3 and that's what we want and that's what the answer is now let me take you through a more general method given this equation if i take dot product with a vector on both sides i get c vector dot a vector on left hand side x a vector dot a vector since a vector is a unit vector i essentially get x plus y times b vector dot a vector which is supposed to be 0 plus a vector cross b vector dot a vector now a vector cross b vector is perpendicular to a vector hence the dot product with it would be 0 so essentially c vector dot a vector turns out to be x only and now what is c vector dot a vector it is magnitude of c vector magnitude of a vector cos alpha now what is magnitude of c vector it is 2 magnitude of a vector is 1 so essentially it becomes 2 cos alpha now similarly uh, when you take dot product with b vector on both sides you would get c vector dot b vector equal to y which in the same way would be magnitude of c vector magnitude of b vector cos alpha magnitude of c vector is 2 magnitude of b vector is 1 and you get times cos alpha so that means x is 2 cos alpha y is 2 cos alpha and we have been given one more information that magnitude of c vector is 2 since a vector b vector are perpendicular and a vector cross b vector is perpendicular to both a vector and b vector so this is like a rectangular resolution of a c vector so using that concept i may say that magnitude of c vector square is essentially sum of squares of the coefficients of a vector b vector and a vector cross b vector which is x square plus y square plus 1 which is supposed to be 4 as per given information that magnitude of c vector is 2 so from this when you put x to be 2 cos alpha and y to be 2 cos alpha you get 8 cos square alpha equal to 3 which is exactly what we want now you may wonder okay, how is that magnitude of c vector square is x square plus y square plus 1 so let me prove it for your conviction magnitude of c vector square i can write as c vector dot c vector which essentially means x a vector plus y b vector plus uh, you may say a vector cross b vector dot the same thing x a vector plus y b vector plus a vector cross b vector now as you take dot product since a vector b vector and a vector cross b vector are all mutually perpendicular so what you would be left with is if you see carefully x square plus y square plus 1 only because a vector dot a vector is 1, a vector dot b vector is 0, a vector dot a vector cross b vector is 0 
and hence as you take dot product term by term you would get magnitude of c vector square is essentially x square plus y square plus 1 so we we have written it directly because a vector b vector and a vector cross b vector are mutually perpendicular to each other so this is what you may even learn if you were not already aware so my answer is 3 we have seen uh, this by taking some special case and also in general way that's all from my side thanks for listening stay tuned for the next question